Welcome back to Stack Tracker. In this video, you'll learn how to install, configure, and use Metric Beat to collect system and service level metrics and send them to Elasticsearch, then visualize everything in Kibana. This is a crucial step toward full stack observability with the Elk stack. Um, I assume you already have Elasticsearch and Kibana installed and running. If not, don't worry. Check out my channel where I have a full playlist that walks you through installing, uh, configuring, and using Elasticsearch and Kibana. You'll find the link to the first video on screen right now and also in the video description below. MetricBeat is a small program from Elastic that collects system and service metrics and sends them to Elasticsearch. It helps you monitor things like CPU, memory, disk, and network usage. It can also collect data from services like Docker, MySQL, Nginx, Apache, and Redis using ready-to-use modules. These modules often include dashboards for Kibana, so you can quickly see the data. MetricBeat runs on your machine and sends the collected data to Elasticsearch, where you can view it in Kibana. Let's start. First, we need to install MetricBeat on the machine we want to monitor. You can find the download link for the latest version of MetricBeat on the official Elastic website. The link you see on the screen points directly to the correct version for your operating system. It will also be provided in the video description. Make sure to select the version that matches your operating system. In my case, I'm using macOS, so I'll choose the macOS package. Uh, copy the download command from the website and run it in your terminal. After a short time, MetricBeat will be downloaded and ready to install. Now let's navigate into the extracted MetricBeat directory and take a look at its contents. There are two main parts we are interested in the configuration file and the modules directory. Let's start by modifying the configuration file. First, find the setting reload.enabled and set it to true. This enables automatic reloading of module configurations when changes are made. Next, scroll down to the Kibana section and uncomment the line that defines the Kibana host URL. For me, it's localhost. If your Kibana is hosted elsewhere, replace the URL with the correct address. Now move to the Elasticsearch Output section. This is where MetricBeat sends the collected data. By default, it points to localhost 9200. If your Elasticsearch instance is running on another machine, update the URL accordingly. You should also provide the username and password for accessing Elasticsearch. Since I'm using the default credentials, only for testing purposes, I'll leave them as they are. Once you've made these changes, save the configuration file. Okay, now let's go to the modules directory. As I mentioned previously, there are plenty of things you can monitor, from servers to databases, but in this tutorial, we're interested in the system module. Let's open its configuration. Here you can see which parts of the system are possible to monitor. We don't need all of them, so we'll leave only a couple enabled. After that, save the file and exit. Um, okay, now let's test the configuration. MetricBeat allows us to check whether all settings in the configuration file are correct. As we see, MetricBeat detects no errors in the configuration. We can also test the output settings, meaning the connection to Elasticsearch and Kibana, the credentials, and other important details. And here, everything is also working fine. Let's quickly jump to Kibana and see what we have before starting MetricBeat. In the dashboard section, we can see some pre-installed dashboards, but none of them are related to MetricBeat yet. If we go to the Observability section, we'll notice an option to install MetricBeat. But instead of doing it manually through the UI, we'll let MetricBeat do the job for us from the terminal. MetricBeat comes with built-in dashboards and settings, and 
it can install everything automatically into Kibana. Let's switch to the terminal and run the setup command. After a short while, the setup completes successfully, and all necessary dashboards, index templates, and visualizations are installed into Kibana. Now let's go back to Kibana and check what has changed. In the Dashboards section, you'll now see many new dashboards that have been added, including several related to MetricBeat. These are ready to be used and will display data as soon as MetricBeat starts collecting and sending metrics. Now let's switch back to the terminal and run MetricBeat. You'll immediately see events produced by MetricBeat in the terminal, but it's not very spectacular to look at there. For proper visualization, we need to switch to Kibana. Go to Discover, select the MetricBeat index, and you'll notice that events are already coming in from MetricBeat. In this tutorial, we won't go deep into how to use and configure the Discover section. There are dedicated tutorials for that on my channel. But for now, it's enough to confirm that the data is flowing correctly from MetricBeat into Elasticsearch. Now let's visualize this data. For that, we can use the pre-installed dashboards that come with MetricBeat. There are many dashboards available, but we're interested in the ones designed for displaying system-level information. Type system in the search bar to filter them and select the one that matches your need. As soon as we open it, we can see live data about the system where MetricBeat is installed. Since MetricBeat can be installed on multiple hosts, we need to select the specific host we want to view. Just click on the host name and we'll be taken to a more detailed dashboard. Here you can see many useful system metrics, CPU usage, memory usage, disk activity, network statistics, and much more. We won't dive into all the details, that's outside the scope of this tutorial. The goal here is simply to get an overview of what MetricBeat can do. You can also head over to the Observability section. There your host will appear under the Infrastructure tab. Click on it and you'll get even more detailed metrics and visualizations. So that's it for today. We've seen how to install MetricBeat, connect it to Elasticsearch and Kibana, and use the built-in dashboards to monitor system metrics. So I hope this was interesting. Thank you for watching my tutorials. If you enjoyed this, please like the video and subscribe. See you later. Bye.